And now I'm going to bring us over to the Easily Do website. Um, this is a do everything personal assistant for your smartphone. You can download this app in the Google Play Store or the App Store for iPhones. So what you need to do is uh, go on to either the Google Play Store or the App Store and create your account, download the app onto your smartphone. And then you will go on to this website here. Um, you can also install this for Gmail, which I have done, so I'll show you that as well. With this app, you get cards as notifications on things from your email that are coming up. For example, I'm going to show you some of the features on the features page in here. But since this is an app designed specifically for your smartphone, I'm unable to pull up my account on the website to show you but I will go ahead and show you a few features on here. Um, so this is what it will look like once you download it. Um, this will be your dashboard. And when I click on the features page here, you will see some of the cards that I had mentioned. So um, for example, here, these are what, you, what will display on your dashboard. Um, the first example I want to bring up is the duplicate contacts. It will search your phone, for any duplicate contacts and give you an option to merge them into one contact. So I know that uh, right when I downloaded it, there were a ton of, um, of duplicate contacts with different email addresses. So I just clicked on merge for all of those. So that saved, um, that saved me a lot of time doing it myself. You will also be notified when someone new emails you, so the app will alert you of any new contact. Um, you also have the option to add them into your contacts list and to even connect with them on LinkedIn with one simple button. So that is a great feature in here. Also, if you are um, using the premium account, which is a little I think it's uh, $4.99 a month for the premium account. Um, you have the option to connect that with Salesforce. If anyone uses Salesforce, you know um, that's a CRM system. So if you do have the premium one, you can also connect it with, um, with Salesforce. Also, the, um, the app will let you know if you have any outdated email addresses in your contact list. So that will let you know who you need to get a new um, updated contact for. So that's something that, um, that the system automatically does for you. One feature that I love in here is the email attachments. The um, Easily Do app pulls all of your email attachments, any of your recent ones, into one place. So you don't need to worry about searching through your emails to find a recent attachment. You'll see a list of all of them, and I'll show you on the um, Google Chrome, the plugin that I have on here on my email, it'll list all of the, um, all of the attachments, so that's a great thing. Also, it, um, it goes through your emails, so for example, if you have dinner or um, a hotel reservation, it will create a card for you, um, just like this one. It'll have the date, time, and location, all of that information for you. It'll also send you a reminder, just so you don't forget. So any reservation that comes into your email, you'll get reminded. And um, another feature, since I've downloaded this, is it connects with your calendar. So if you have a meeting coming up or an appointment coming up, it will send you a push notification and just give you a heads up to, um, to remind you that you have something coming up. Instead of with your calendar, it will tell you exactly when it starts. This gives you, um, I think it's about 10, 15 minutes beforehand and, um, and just lets you know what you have coming up for the day. Also, another great thing is if you are traveling um, this app with one click, you can share your flight itinerary with anyone that you'd like, any of your contacts. I really wish I knew about this app a while ago, especially for this feature. I can't even remember how many times I've had to send my flight number to a friend or 
you know, so this just makes everything a lot easier, in my opinion. Also here, any recent receipts which you have had emailed to you will automatically display as a card, as you can see this Starbucks one, for example. And you actually have the option to file any receipts into a specific folder. So this is um, another great feature. Um, you can keep track of all of your receipts. <clears throat> you can also find out how long it will take to get home from any destination, wherever you're at. This will appear as a card. Um, if you have something which is being sent in the mail and you receive the email with the, um, with the tracking number, you will have a card created automatically in here and it will tell you the progress, when it will be delivered, all of that information. So again, I could spend quite a while going over all of the features which are available in here. But of course, this is our tech corner and it only lasts 10 minutes. So I will now just go ahead and show you the Google Chrome plugin, um, which I have added to my computer. And you can do that simply by going back onto the home page here, um, install for Gmail down at the bottom right hand corner. Once you do that, um, you do have to have your account set up already, but once you do that, you can log in here with your email address and make sure that it's your primary email. So anything important um, will be displayed in, um, in your dashboard. So again, here I have created, um, I've downloaded this plugin. So here's my email. And you'll see over on the right hand side, I have um, my easily do dashboard. This one is going to be different than the, um, than the smartphone app because it was designed specifically for smartphones. But this is still something great. As you can see here, one of my cards is um, for an email needing my attention. So this might be one that I haven't responded to yet. So I can just quickly click on the respond button and um, type in my response and send it with one click. Um, so it does remind you of any emails which you have not responded to. It also reminds you of any emails which you have not gotten a response to. So um, I know I checked my phone earlier and, um, and there was an email which I had forgotten I hadn't received a response to. And all I had to do was with one click, um, press send, and all it automatically types in for you is, hi, just checking in on this again. Um, please let me know. Thank you. So you just click on send and it automatically sends the email for you. So if I wouldn't have gotten that reminder, I probably would have forgot about that one. So um, these are all of the things. Also, any contacts which you do not have in your Google contacts, you can just click here. These are any or these are people who I've recently emailed. So all you need to do is click on save to Google contacts and it creates it for you. As I had mentioned before, the attachments, um, these are any email attachments which you have recently received. You know, it can be kind of a pain to go through uh, emails to find an attachment. So right here, the only thing you're searching for is attachments. So you can even, um, you can even search through what you have here. These are the most recent ones that I've received. So that is another great feature which is available in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, wrap this up because it is 10:10 uh, right now. So I just want everyone to know that this app is free. I'm using the free version. You can of course download it on the App Store or the Google Play Store. Now if you would like to upgrade to the premium, I believe it is $4.99 a month or $49.99 a year. Again, you don't have to upload to the premium. There are a few other features, but I'm liking the, the free version. I, I don't think there's anything else that, um, that I could add on here. Um, so this is easily due again. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed today's presentation and I'm looking forward to seeing you all next Thursday again at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 1 o'clock p.m. if you are on the East Coast. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording now.
If anyone has any questions, please type those into the questions box for me.